Liam Neeson's character, Martin Harris, and his wife, Liz, January Jones, fly to Berlin for a biotechnology conference where he is scheduled to present a paper. Martin finds he left his briefcase at the airport with their passports when they get to their hotel, which is also where the conference is being held. He hails a cab to get the briefcase and Liz checks in while he is out. A truck's cargo collides with the road, sending the cab careening into the river. Gina, the cabbie, Diane Kruger, saves him, but when the police arrive, she vanishes into the mob. Martin has been unconscious for four days. His memory is foggy when he comes to. He is meant to be at the biotechnology conference, so when he watches a news story about it on television, he remembers. He leaves the hospital by himself and checks into the motel. He approaches Liz when he sees her at a reception. However, she denies knowing him and introduces her husband, Martin Harris, to everyone, Aidan Quinn. Martin rambles across Berlin's streets. Gina, an undocumented immigrant who works multiple jobs, is located by him. Because she runs the risk of being deported, she declines to assist him. Martin visits the office of Professor Bressler, Sebastian Koch, a German bioscientist with whom he has spoken over the phone about their intentions to transform the food industry. Martin B., though, is already present when he arrives. Martin is escorted away by police during a confrontation. He self-registers at the hospital once more for additional testing. He is given a private investigator's name by one of the nurses. Following one of the tests, a hit man kills the nurse and tries to flee with Martin. However, Martin vanishes into the busy emergency department and escapes. Martin visits Ernst Jürgen, a private investigator and ex-Stasi agent, who is played by Bruno Ganz. Martin is instructed to find Gina again by Jürgen, who accepts Martin's account. When he comes upon her, he asks for a place to stay the night and gives her the watch that Liz gave him for their wedding anniversary. The assassin barges in as he is taking a shower. He is killed by Gina with his own poison. A second hit man is after them as they flee in a borrowed taxi. They conceal themselves in a disco and escape him. Gina and Martin meet Jürgen. He has a friend at the airport looking over security camera footage for Martin. And he has gotten in touch with Rodney Cole a colleague of Martin's who he is confident can be of assistance. Martin goes to a photographic show with Liz. She initially acts as though she doesn't know him, but after a while she goes up to him and reveals that she is being forced to betray him and that she still loves him and will be waiting for him at the airport. Martin barely makes it out of there with Gina when the second hit man and Martin B show up. Arriving at Jürgen's workplace is Rodney Cole, Frank Langella. Jürgen decides to commit suicide rather than share his knowledge after realizing who Cole truly is. Martin and Gina take the suitcase with the passports and tens of thousands of euros. Gina sends Martin to the airport to wait. Martin gets tasered by the second hitman after Cole arrives and transports him to a black van. When Gina notices this, she rides after the black van in a stolen taxi. Martin is taken to a lonely parking garage's top floor by Cole and the hitman. Martin is informed by Cole that, although wearing the guise of Martin Harris, he is actually a government assassin. Martin B. was enlisted to complete the task because when Martin emerged from the post-accident coma, he thought his cover narrative was true. Gina traps the second assassin between the van and taxi before he can kill Martin, sending the van with Cole inside tumbling to the earth below. Martin can recall everything now. He had gone to the hotel some months prior with Liz in order to detonate a bomb. It would be utilized to murder Bressler in a way that could be attributed to Muslim radicals opposed to Prince Shada's Miro Hamada, who is also the conference's patron, liberalizing aspirations. Gina and he dash to the motel. At the event, Liz equips the bomb and copies the files providing data on a novel, easily cultivated variety of maze. When Martin gets there in time, he convinces the hotel security that a bomb is about to go off. Liz leaves the hotel to defuse the explosives after security leaves, and Martin B. pursues Bressler to get him. Liz fails and is destroyed in the blast. Gina observes as Martin and Martin B. engage in combat amidst the trash. A glass shard used by Martin to kill Martin B. The following day, Bressler and Prince Shada generously share their new crop of maize with everyone in an effort to eradicate world hunger. Martin and Gina leave Berlin as Henry and Claudia Taylor using more fictitious passports that Martin had in his briefcase.